Hello everyone and welcome back to Microbial Concerns. So on a uh, comment on one of my posts, I got this subject that do make a video on anaerobic bacteria. Okay, and the culture techniques. So this is the part one where I am explaining the basics, the characteristics, examples and media that is used in anaerobic bacterial cultures or for culturing technique. Okay, so let's start with the video. So basics, so basics is like um, aerobes are bacteria which can live in presence of oxygen. Okay, or they can be cultured in presence of oxygen. But anaerobic means or an anaerobic culturing is a method which is used to grow anaerobic uh, bacteria from a clinical sample or any sample. So anaerobic here means in absence of oxygen. Okay, it does not mean in absence of air, but specifically in absence of oxygen. So obligate anaerobes are bacteria that can live only in absence of oxygen and are destroyed when exposed to atmosphere for at least uh, for minimum say 10 minutes. Okay, they can be destroyed. So they are unable to utilize molecular oxygen for growth and they do not carry out oxidative, oxidative phosphorylation. Right. So some anaerobes, they can tolerate small amount of oxygen and thus the term given to them is aerotolerant and there are facultative anaerobes that are one which uh, can grow with or without oxygen means in presence or in absence of oxygen, they can be grown. So now the purpose of study. So why to study anaerobic cultures or anaerobic bacteria? So anaerobic bacterial cultures are studied to identify bacteria that grow only in absence of oxygen and which may cause human infections. Okay, if they are overlooked or killed by exposure to oxygen, then anaerobic infections may result in serious consequences as amputation, organ failure, sepsis, meningitis or death. Okay, so culture is required to correctly identify and uh, yeah, culture is required to correctly identify anaerobic pathogen and inst institute effective antibiotic treatment. Okay, so it means that you have to identify the culture correctly and start the antibiotic treatment as fast as possible. So they employ alternative strategy for energy conservation in absence of oxygen, which enables them to play a key role in maintaining the global cycles for carbon, nitrogen, sulfur and breakdown of persistent compounds. Okay, so the purpose of study I have given here three. So we have uh, read about the two and the third one is very important that is anaerobic fermentation has been applied to many important industrial fermentations such as ethanol production by yeast, lactic acid preservation of food, anaerobic digestion of organic matter in ruminant cultivation and waste treatment. Okay. So these are the three which I could list here for video. There are some other applications, sorry, other purposes also. Then the precaution, when you are handling the sample which may contain an anaerobic bacterial culture, then the sample should be collected aseptically and should be protected from oxygen. Okay. The sample must be protected from oxygen during collection and must be transported to the laboratory immediately. Okay, so the sample collection is actually a very tricky and important point here because if you lose the culture by just exposing it to oxygen, then you will not be able to isolate the anaerobic culture. Okay, then anaerobics are killed by oxygen because they lack enzymes such as catalase. So catalase is an enzyme which breaks down hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen. Then they lack enzyme like peroxidase which uh, by which one NADH plus H2O2 are converted to two NAD and O2. This is the reaction where these particular enzymes they work and superoxide dismutase by which superoxide O2 is converted to H2O2. Okay, so anaerobes they actually lack all these enzymes. And these enzymes, they detoxify, which means they remove peroxide and oxygen free radicals produced during the metabolism in the presence of oxygen. So now these enzymes, they are not present. 
so it means that the peroxide and oxygen free radicals which are produced in uh, during the metabolism it will hamper the growth of anaerobic bacteria okay so they cannot tolerate oxygen as they don't have these enzymes okay so anaerobic respiration it includes glycolysis and fermentation so during the later stage of this process nadh is uh, which is generated during glycolysis is converted back to nad by losing the hydrogen and this hydrogen is added to pyruvate depending on the bacterial species okay and other metabolic end products are produced now aerobes can survive in the presence of oxygen by the virtue of an elaborate system of defenses and without these defenses the key enzyme system in the organism fails to function and organism may die okay here it it just means that all the enzyme system that we read here that is catalase peroxidase dismute superoxide dismutase they are very very important for an aerobic culture to survive and if they don't have such kind of enzyme system then the aerobes will also die so while obligate anaerobes which live only in absence of oxygen do not possess the defenses that make aerobic life possible and therefore they cannot survive in air that is what i was explaining the tolerance of oxygen is related to the ability of bacteria okay so the tolerance of oxygen is related to the ability of bacterium to detoxify that is to remove superoxide and hydrogen peroxide produced by byproducts of aerobic respiration right the assimilation of glucose in aerobic conditions result in terminal gen generation of free radical superoxide that is o2 okay so free radicals they interfere in many many reactions and they can or the or it can be lethal to the uh, particular microorganism okay so the superoxide is reduced by the enzyme superoxide dismutase to oxygen gas and hydrogen peroxide okay and that is the importance of these all enzyme systems subsequently the hydrogen sorry the toxic hydrogen peroxide generated in this reaction is converted to water and oxygen by the enzyme catalase which is found in aerobic and facultative anaerobe also and by various uh, peroxidases which are found in several aerotolerant anaerobes okay so the obligate anaerobes they don't have any of these enzymes or the defenses so they cannot survive in air but in case of um, facultative anaerobes which has catalase okay uh, yeah sorry catalase is present in most of the aerobes then facultative anaerobes and bacteria or by various peroxidases which are found in several aerotolerant okay so it means that uh you find peroxidases in different facultative anaerobes and aerotolerant anaerobes as well so now some of the examples so first is gram positive bacilli so genera of actinomyces then bifidobacterium uh, agerthella or agerthella clostridium species eubacterium lactobacillus propenium bacterium these are the examples of gram positive bacilli gram positive coca the examples are peptostreptococcus uh, gimella or gimella and streptococcus then gram negative bacilli examples are bacterioides fragilis bacterioides uh, melan melaninogenus genicus melan melaninogenicus and fusobacterium species gram negative coca the examples are uh, velonella then acidomini acidomeniococcus and megospora now about the bacterial culture media okay for the culturing techniques the uh, bacterial sorry the media culture that we use so nowadays media culture that we use is also commercially available you can prepare your media in lab but it is also commercially available okay so if the media for anaerobic culture is pre prepared in your laboratory then it should be used within 2 weeks of preparation as on longer storage 
the uh, or the quality it degrades of the media and due to due to what due to the accumulation of peroxide and dehydration okay and anaerobic culture media contains reducing agents such as cysteine okay so this is the reason that your culture media should be used in two weeks if it is prepared in your laboratory okay now there are some pre reduced media which are readily available now what is that pre reduced means so uh, anaerobically sterilized media are produced by different commercial supplier which have extended shelf life of up to 6 month okay the primary plating media for inoculating anaerobic species uh, sorry anaerobic specimen includes a non selective blood agar and one or more of the following mentioned medias okay so simply remember that a pre reduced media contains a reducing agent okay to uh, reduce or to minimize the oxidation now about the non selective media used in air anaerobic bacteriology first is cooked meat broth also the example is of uh, robertson's cooked meat medium so it is non selective for cultivation of anaerobic organisms with the addition of glucose and can be used for gas liquid chromatography then anaerobic blood agar it is non selective media for isolation of anaerobes and facultative anaerobes then third is egg yolk agar and it is also non selective for determination of lecithinase and lipase production by clostridia and fusobacteria okay so it is used for determination of lecithinase enzyme and lipase production by these two uh, anaerobic bacteria then peptone yeast extract glucose broth so peptone yeast extract so it stands for in abbreviations you can write it as pyge or pyg okay uh it is also non selective for cultivation of anaerobic bacteria and for gas liquid chromat then about selective and differential media for anaerobic bacteriology or anaerobic bacterial culturing so first is bacteroides bile esculin agar which is selective and differential for bacteroides fragilis and then second is laked canamycin vancomycin blood agar uh, lkv which is selective for povotella and bacteroides species then anaerobic phenyl ethylene uh, alcohol agar which is selective for inhibition of gram negative rods and swarming some of the clostridia species then cyclosporine cefoxitin fructose agar which is again selective for clostridium difficile or difficile then thioglycolate broth which is again selective and differential for the cultivation of anaerobes as well as some of the facultative anaerobes okay so this was about basics on anaerobic bacterial cultures then we have seen some examples their characteristics and media used for their cultivation i hope this video was useful to you all thank you for watching my video do like my video do share my videos and do subscribe to my channel and keep supporting thank you